guys this is Cecily again I haven't done a video in a little while about since we downsized and moved into a much smaller home and I was cleaning up I haven't completely cleaned so there is mess in here just heads up um, but I was cleaning and I was like well I haven't done a video about especially kids rooms because before we moved into this house or this trailer one thing I looked up a lot and tried to get an idea for was my kids bedrooms now the two bedrooms in the middle of this trailer it's a single wide four bedroom and the two bedrooms in the middle are the tiny ones i don't know how many of y'all have ever been in a small trailer but there's usually one bedroom that is in the middle and tiny in our first trailer it was actually a two bedroom trailer it had the one tiny room and the bigger room and we let the kids have the bigger room so we had the tiny room that was basically big enough for a twin bed a dresser and that was it there was a little l of floor space to walk in and that's all we had the trailers have come a long way since then even the single wides so i'm going to show you the two middle bedrooms that one is my daughter's and one's my son's and you can see the different decorating choices they did but also how that affects how the space feels so if you're thinking of moving into a smaller place some things to keep in mind first i'm going to show you my daughter's room she's six so it's very girly and unicorns and pink but you can imagine it in like with boyish things too but it's just the main decorating things to keep in mind to see how the space could feel bigger or smaller based on a few basic things okay so this is Elevie's room uh, she wanted she had the bunk beds with Jesse previously she wanted to keep those and if she has a friend over she has a place to put them but you can see how it kind of eats up the floor space uh, my son also has a twin bed, and I'll show you how that works differently with his setup soon. Uh, you can see she does have a good bit of room in here comparatively to what the small trailers used to be. Used to be, like, this dresser would be sitting here, and your walls would be touching the bed and then touching the side of the dresser, and this little piece here would be all the floor space you had. So it is bigger than that. There is room for her to play in here. I've given her a shelf. And like I said, I didn't clean up much. I did pick up the floor because I'm about to sweep and mop. But um, it's got clutter on it, and that will make the space look smaller. This up here makes the space look smaller. She has patterns on a lot of her things, which make spaces look smaller. We use totes for a lot of things under her bed. Like this is her little books. That's her toy box. That's her toy clothes. I don't know what this is right now. I need to clean out from under her bed. Uh, she's got her little dresser. Uh, it's cluttered on top, which again makes the space look smaller. Uh, we use, I have these little shoe holders, and I use it for other things too, like her gloves are in here. It's getting kind of dark looking. Uh, but yeah, she piles things everywhere, and that visual clutter can make the space look a good bit smaller. Here's her closet, which is used for storage, which is plenty for her. Like, she's six, and once again, like, kids aren't going to put everything up. Here's shoes there's a shoe holder right here she piles things in there and things are going to get piled so i don't think seeing a very clean room tells you exactly how your small space is going to look simply for the fact kids are not going to keep it that way at least most of them aren't so this is my six-year-old's i think it's seven by nine is the room dimensions so that's hers and here is my son's who has very different styles he does not have the twin bed so it's not taking up your space so it feels like a much bigger room his bed is made he likes solid colors so that opens the space uh, he does have these lights which are decorative and they're really cute when they're on he doesn't use his closet much he so his bed is turned this way and he has a few things here in front of it and like his weights and his amp so he doesn't use his closet much he has it pretty much blocked off now, if you have a small child, you could take this door off and still be able to get in there. Because once you go in there, the as you saw in Lovey's, the bar is a bit back. So there's room to step in there. So you could use that if you took off the door. Now, I have covered up some of Ben's stuff because some of his things I thought he might not want to be shown. But he has room for a large desk. He doesn't use dresser. He just folds his clothes there and puts them. It works for him. He puts his shoes there. He has something stored under his bed, but you can see because of solid patterns and not having much eye level clutter, his room looks much larger. 
He does have some clutter over here on his desk, but he keeps it fairly well organized. And you can see it seems like he has a good bit more floor space, but it's because his layout and his decorating choices. So I just wanted to give y'all a little, I don't know if I'm in the light and you can see or not. I just wanted y'all to see how the decorating choices and laying out the furniture can affect the small space. So if you're looking into getting something smaller, just things to keep in mind. If you're okay with clutter, that's fine. Elevi likes her clutter. She likes her room. I let her decorate how she wanted to. It feels tiny, but she likes it. It's going to get cluttered. Kids are going to leave stuff out. The teenage boy likes the stuff space here, and even it still gets cluttered. But that's what we've got going so far. We've been here like two years now, and these are layouts that seem to work for them. When my oldest moves out, I'll probably move one of the smaller rooms into there. Probably the boy. Just depends on who moves out first and how that goes. Whether they go to college. Getting old, my kids are going to college soon. But anyway, that is our room so far. Another peek at Levy's, just in case. So you can get a better comparison to the boy seeing it immediately after. All right, if y'all have any questions or anything y'all want to know about living in tiny spaces and how it's working out, let me know. Bye.